What is going on Road Trippers? Road Trip Nate here with one final video on the final leg of our uh, little quick trip with my co-host Tim Crawford. Hello. Currently almost about to go through Twin Oaks and Kansas, Oklahoma. Just kind of, this is kind of going to be an ending video. Uh, just, uh, just because we couldn't really leave it at, uh, what was that last town we were in? Prior. So let's, and because I have a special something to say during this video. Well, I will not say what it is until we pass by. I'll keep y'all guessing. <laughs> keep y'all guessing. But I think somebody close to my heart will appreciate that I say this on on, a, on video to help. I'm not gonna give it a, give too much away. But yeah, as you can see, this is fixing to come into Twin Oaks, Oklahoma. Not too much. If I didn't have a personal connection to this area, I would not film this area because there's not too much going on. And don't stop typing, people. I'm from this area. I can I can say that about this area. At least they got trees. They got trees. That's better than what Kansas can say. That part's Kansas isolated. Yeah. Some parts of Kansas have trees. They just don't have very many hills. Yeah. That's the problem with Kansas. They don't have enough hills. Hills have eyes. Yeah. Oh, it's a scary movie. Not the movie. The song. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're loving that, uh, that, fr <laughs> that, that fresh outdoor country smell. Some people like that though, that smoke weed they do. Oh, yeah, okay. I can I can see Scum that. Weed. Yeah. yeah. Some of the people I know in Colorado love that smell. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> see how it's got side of the Dollar General will be where she works at. Uh, let's, see. let's see. Yep, there's Green Gate Grill right there. That's where she works at. Yep, and she's there. Yep, they have uh, one of the best, it is one of the best burger joints. Probably the best, best place to eat in this area. One of the only places to eat. It is. Has, yeah, a lot of those restaurants off the beaten path are. Yeah, the they have a really good burger called the Bull Holler Burger. It has Southwest uh, uh, South Southwest Ranch, I think, jalapenos, avocado on a toasted uh, brioche bun. They definitely need more advertising, so this is what I'm doing with my my voice on this platform. Is giving them some advertising, some, some cheap advertising, to get, to get more people to go there, because they are a small business that barely lasted through the pandemic. And they need on more the people. On the other side of Siloam Springs. Yeah, on the, yeah, uh, about what, 20 miles from Siloam? Yeah, to the west. To the west, yeah. Stay on the 0412. So don't get on the. Yeah, turnpike. don't get on the turnpike. You'll miss it. Yeah, because it's off an alternative. Yeah. It's not very far from Siloam, really. Yeah, but or Kansas. Whenever you watch this video, Sam, that was for you. So now, be a few miles more. We are gonna be like I've already done a video on Kansas, Oklahoma, but nothing's changed. But let's just still do a refresher. Uh, since this is an ending video, I figured well, we're driving. Got a dollar store. Yeah, I think they had that the last time I came through here, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yeah. 
but hopefully the viewers, if you're watching this video, go eat at Greengate. They need more people to eat there. There's some free advertising for y'all. Because it's a great place to eat. It's way better than the Harvest House. Making me hungry. <laughs> On your right. We should have stopped the neighbor besides the Yeah. There. Yeah. There. On your right, there's a smoke shop. Yeah. Didn't think about uh, it. I was thinking about the same thing, but I was like, yeah, we've already ate. <laughs> that would have been a better place to eat. Yeah. But there's always next time. Yeah. And it's not too far away. Yeah. You'll definitely have to try it. You'll, you'll definitely have to try it one of these days. Yeah, I've never been in there. Yeah. So. My place I've been back there was that's at her, that's 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 her that's uncle, Bobby Webster. That was his sign, uh, Webster's Auctions. Kansas. Kansas, Oklahoma. Town of a little over 800. My graduating, where I, where I graduated. A little bit smaller than Southwest City. The town I graduated from. from. Well, you got Southwest City, B. They didn't have a high school. They go to the county. Yeah. McDonald's. Yep. It used to be, that was a movie rental place. Just up from my... Oh, that's an old building there. Yeah, the my... Building. Where I grew up at. Is that the house right there. And my, one of my brothers might have been There's the Harvest House, which, yeah, Greengate's way better. Sorry if that offends anybody that works, works at the Harvest House. I have ate at both places, so I can honestly tell you. I'm not ragging on the Harvest House. I can just say that food at Greengate's better. We're putting in some power lines here. Yeah. The left. So they're doing something. <laughs> yep. Should tell those guys, hey, go eat at Greengate. Yeah. <laughs> Yelling like they used to. Go eat a green hey! day. <laughs> <laughs> they might. I mean, yeah. This area. They keep might. going back that way. They might run yeah. into it. The place for me. They might get pretty busy for a while. Depends on if they keep going back that way. I don't know which way they're putting the pose in though. Yeah. And this is probably about the main hub of Kansas. I mean, if you can call it a main hub. <laughs> It's got a couple gas stations. See what you missed by going on the interstate? Yeah. This is why I like taking back roads. Is because when you get on the interstate, you, I, I just feel like you're like like when you're on a plane, you miss everything. Yeah, heart, heart, and soul, heart and Soul Kitchen, I've heard, is good right there on the left. Uh, oh, I got a funny story for and you. Then, there's a Dollar General and a Family Dollar, which none of that was here when I was in high school. Neither, neither of those stores were here. But they are now. You got Southwest City beat. Yep. They only got a dollar general. They don't have the family dollar too. And your town's a little bit smaller. Southwest City's got more people. Yeah. Southwest City's 900 or something. I'm comparing notes here for you. Yeah. Yeah, a guy at work, uh, when I worked in McKee, he had a shirt on, or hat on, and it looked a little different, but it said KC. Oh, yeah. He goes, oh, you're Kansas City Chief. Kansas it. Comets, yeah. Yeah, he goes, oh, Kansas Comets. <laughs> yeah. It threw me totally off. Yeah. I didn't know what to say, and I go, well, that's probably a good thing, because I'm a Broncos fan. He goes, I'm a Raiders fan. I go, oh, oh yeah. Wow. He's like, oh, you want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Chiefs, but I don't like the Raiders either, so. That's kind of like, oh, you yeah. kind of start trouble there. And we're, we're fixing to go back over the turnpike one more time. Yeah. Left and to the right. Yeah. It's the turnpike. I guess to the right it would be going east and to the left would be going west. Yep. In a covered wagon if you want, but it'd be a little bit slower. Yep. There's the hills that made the light. Those hills have eyes. Oh, that's a scary oh, movie. Oh, that's a scary movie. Not the movie, the song. Oh yeah, heels and eyes. Heels and eyes. <laughs> Brenda had no clue when I stopped. <laughs> but she don't like that kind of music, so kind of an alternative kind of type music. Yeah. But I didn't know what the movie was. So <laughs> yeah. At that time, I didn't know what the movie was, so we were both kind of like dumbfounded. You don't know how many 
times, you know, as a kid growing up, going back and forth from Kansas to Siloam, because Siloam was like really the only the only place with any real stores near Kansas. So anytime we wanted to go to the store, it was always go to Siloam. Anytime we needed to go to town, go to Siloam. Uh, this road has been well traveled by me from Kansas to Siloam yeah. and back. Well, there's like just quite a few cars on it right now. Yep. They're all going in that turnpike. Yep. I ain't paying for no toll. No. Not when. Uh, uh, it, I know this might offend some people, but I'm going to say it anyway because it's the truth. The turnpike roads, especially the Cherokee Turnpike, is uh, is sometimes worse than this road. And oh, yeah. this road you don't have to pay for. The turnpike you have to pay for. Like, a, what, a dollar seventy five? Yeah. This road's really not that bad. No, it's not. Compared to some of the roads we saw on this road. Oh, yeah. I mean... Really now, we had something really funny. If it offends someone, I'm sorry, too. <laughs> I'm not an Oklahoma fan, but we got from Kansas to Oklahoma, and literally the roads turned to shit. Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't even making it up. It was on Highway 77. You better fix that road, or you see this, you're going to see what I mean. Mm -hmm. I'd be fixing it pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Because it's just like, Kansas didn't have the best roads in the world. I'm not saying, but they were smooth. And as soon as we hit the state line, go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> but we both, when we didn't record it. Yeah. We did not record uh, it. That would have been uh, pretty funny to get on video, it though. It would have been hilarious for that, man. Yeah. Not really starting that, but just for that. Yeah. It, would, it was just one of those, I, boy, I wish I would have got that on video. It would have been something to look back on that would have been just... Uh, funny? Yeah, funny. No, not trying to start anything, but just something that would be funny. Oh, you're trying to start something. The heels have eyes. <laughs> and up on your left is uh, Flint Creek, a very popular swimming hole for uh, that has a dam, you know, right under the, uh, the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Used to, we used to jump off that when I was a kid growing up. Yeah, it's a very popular for, swimming spot, right? right over I think we're right. in the Silent Springs area. Over to the left, I mean. You should be watching Nathan's videos. He does good jobs on Silent. He knows yes. the area really well. Yes. And a very, very good because I, I that that is my my town. I grew up there. I know every little nook. Colorado Springs. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that. <laughs> that's why I'm gonna need uh, need to go up there with Tim one time because. He, he's a, you know, mo most mostly, more or less a local in, in Colorado Springs. He knows more than I do, because I'm just going to say it. I'm a dumbass when it came to Colorado Springs. I don't know what I, what I, I was really doing. I was that. <laughs> you just didn't really know the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's places around here you know better than I do, so. Yeah. I mean, I don't know none of these roads to the side. Yeah. Now, when you start getting towards Gentry, I do, because I bike them a lot. Yeah. I bicycle. Yeah. Now I know that. I know how to get from actually Silent Springs to Decatur. And I know how to take the back roads and then yeah. I know how to get past Wise City Road or whatever. But that's going to do it from this episode and this trip. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button after the video to stay notified on all my current and my future whereabouts. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash that uh, like button. This lets me know you care. And it uh, really helps out this channel. And like I said, go eat out at Green Gate. It's really good food. It's there in Twin Oaks, Oklahoma, 20 miles west of Siloam, on Old 412. They would really appreciate it if you went and ate out there. Until next time, road trippers, this is Road Trip Nate saying, until next time.